So let's take a look at some examples. Um, in multiplication and division, what you want to do is count the number of significant figures in each value. And once you've done that, you want to round to the smallest value. In other words, our fewest significant figures will dictate what is ethically responsible way uh, to report our values. Now, there is an exception. Exact numbers, when you are counting, we don't use those. I mean, I have five fingers. Uh, it, well, if you count thumbs as fingers, right? I have five fingers. Um, I'm not lying to you if I say I have 5.0. I'm not lying to you if I say I have 5.00, right? So if it's a count, we don't include that. Now, to simplify, we are also not going to include, when we get to that, conversion factors. We are going to conversion factors. We are going to assume that when converting units, we are going to assume that those are exact. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not. So to simplify at an introductory level, we are going to assume that um, conversions between kilometers and, and miles are exact values. All right. So let's take a look at what we have. Um, I like to start out, if I look at this first number, I have three sig figs in the top. There's two. Remember, when it's scientific notation, we only count what's in front of that time sign. We, time sign. we only count the coefficient, and this one has four. What that means is that our final answer must be rounded to two significant figures. Now, I want you to perform that mathematics very carefully. What you may want to do, when, especially when you divide, is put brackets around it. So it would be the numerator divided by brackets, A times B, close your parentheses or brackets. Uh, and make sure that you are using your EE key. Um, instead of times in 10 because your calculator is going to see that times in 10 and it's going to multiply. So you end up multiplying by your exponent when you really wanted to divide by your exponent. So be very, very careful. Perform that calculation. Double check my work and make sure you get the same answer. And before rounding, I got 1.9967 times 10 to the 8th we must round to two sig figs. Well, that nine is going to round that up. So I have to round to the tenths place. So this is a tricky one for rounding. So the nine rounds that nine up, which rounds the one to a two. Just make sure, right, 1.9 rounds to 2.0. Okay? Now in the second, I have two significant figs in that number, four, three, and two. Multiplication and division, you go to the fewest. So I have to get that to two significant figures. Plug that into your calculator, and when you round that to significant figures, you should get 5.3. Now in this one, it tells you that the 32 is an exact number. Um, know that counts or conversions, you won't be told. You won't typically be said, okay, it's an exact number. But if it's a count, if it's a conversion factor, at least in my class, that's how I handle it. Pay close attention to your teacher and your professor so you know how to handle those values. So I'm going to go ahead and go to four significant figures because I have what could be a measurement divided by a count and I'm going to round that to four significant figures. Go ahead and plug that into your calculator and make sure you get the same number as I did. All right? Now, the rule shifts for addition and subtraction. And with this, we're not counting the number of significant figures. We're trying to find the uncertain digit that's furthest to the left. 
So in this case, this uncertain digit is in the hundredths. This uncertain digit is in the thousandths. This uncertain digit is in the tenths. The tenths place is the furthest to the left. So when we perform this math, we need to round to the tenths place, the furthest uncertain digit. Remember the last digit reported is always assumed to be uncertain. So you want the uncertain digit furthest to the left. In this case, our answer would be 1445.3, but that uncertain is the tenths. This uncertain is the ones place. The ones place is furthest to the left, so I would have to round that to 1445 when I got my correct significant figures. Now just a hint, I don't round until the very end. I like to determine my number of significant figures, complete all of the mathematics, and then round, right? You'll get fewer errors. So let's take a look at this next one. This goes to the hundredths, to one, tens, this is like the ten thousandths. The hundredths is the winner. So when I do this math, I'm going to round it to 1.34, my furthest uncertain digit to the left. Um, when you get to numbers that are in scientific notation, you may, you don't have to, but it might help you to take that out of scientific notation just so you can see where those digits lie. So in this case, my significant figure here, my last uncertain digit, or my uncertain digit is in the tens place. When I round this, this one as well is in the tens place. So I need to write this to the tens place. So it ends up being four, Point nine eight. excuse me, let me put that, Not. I'm going to take that out of scientific notation just so you see that first. 49890. You have to round that to the tens place. Now, you might want to write that as 4.989 times 10 to the fourth makes those significant figures much, much clearer. All right, um, but that's up to your the guidelines that your teacher gives you. Now, these are the same numbers, but this time it was subtraction. I would get minus 30150. I still need to round that to the tens place. And so I would have to round that to that digit. A slight challenge further, all right? This one, I left a little bit more room to write and because I think it's a little bit more challenging question. This time we have to include the addition subtraction with the multiplication division. So that has two sig figs, this has two, this has four. All right, I'm going to go ahead and perform this mathematics. The addition there, I'd have four, one, four, four, five, Point three. Now, times 6.7 over 42.99. I'm doing this to make the point that I'm not going to round, but I do need to determine the significant figures. This one is the ones place. This one is the tenths place. I would have to round that to the ones place. So when the multiplication rule kicks in, that has four, that has two, this has four, this has two, my final answer must have two sig figs, okay? But I determined that, but I didn't round until I was forced to. I would go ahead and carry that whole number through the math, but I'd make sure that it didn't determine my sig figs. Okay, that's really what I was after. As it turned out, 
It didn't. There were other numbers that determined the final sig figs. Okay? And um, when you're done with that number, I'm out of room there, but I say 2.6 times 10 to the fourth. You want to check your math, especially to make sure you're plugging in that scientific notation and that you are truly dividing by that and not accidentally multiplying it. If you use your EE key, it automatically links that scientific notation, the times 10 and the coefficient. It automatically links it to that 8.8 .8, so the calculator knows what to do. Okay. So, some tough stuff there. You may need to rewind, rewatch, and practice, especially in, in some of your more advanced classes, uh, AP, IB, and college. If you're doing online homework, that online homework can get really picky about significant figures. So be careful, because these figures truly are important. Thanks for watching.